Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Now today's video, it is a match preview, it's Luton Town versus Millwall. Before I start guys, can we please drop a like on today's video. The more likes my videos get, the better the video does. It reaches up to a lot more people, so please can you drop a like on today's video. And also down below, drop a comment down below your score predictions and your thoughts headed into this game. And also if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, it is free to do so. So, Luton Town versus Millwall. Luton go into this game on the back of a 1-0 away win against Birmingham and I am like so delighted about that. I honestly, before the game, I just didn't really feel like Luton were gonna win. You know, I normally pick out a few like games within the season where I feel like, yeah, we're just not gonna get anything from those types of games and yet again Luton proved me wrong. And this season we've done it a few times. We've gone to places where we don't normally do too well at and actually win and we've got one of the best away um, records in the championship this season and we are literally if we win one more away game we have broken a club record in most away victories in the second division so that could be something which we will achieve this year and you know it just shows you how you know far we've come but also how much we are improving as a team talking about a team that's doing really well this year Millwall having a great year. Gary Rowett has, you know, I see, I think since he's been the Millwall manager, it's always been, you know, very solid. You know, you, you just know that Millwall are not going to get relegated under him. Defensively, normally solid. And it's just been, I would say, maybe the goal department where they lack a little bit. Um, and if they score a bit more goals, that's when they can, you know, try and compete into those playoff places. And I feel like this year they are you may be doing a bit what Luton have been doing, going to places and winning, which they don't normally do too much, but also scoring a lot more goals and beating teams, getting over the line, game management, doing that extremely well. And that's why me were doing a fantastic, well, having a fantastic season so far. They're in those playoff positions. And this game was actually meant to happen in December. I'm kind of glad it didn't happen at the time because Luton had a defensive crisis and also, you know, start of a you know new chapter under Edwards. Whereas with Millwall, they were on fire, you know, ready to go and wanted to beat us. And they probably could have beaten us then. Whereas this time around, it obviously will be a lot more harder. Both teams are on good form, I would say. And yeah, you know, this... This is both of our team's game in hand. Both teams are in those playoff positions. And I think, you know, a, a win here for either side would be absolutely massive. Now with Luton, following the result on the weekend, we do have key players out injured, which is not what we want to hear. I'm, I'm yet to hear what's happened in the press conference, but, you know, when you've got Dan Potts pulling up in the warm-up, which isn't great, you know, he's injury problems... You know, throughout his whole time at Luton, it's just, it's not great either. Um, and then you've got Reese Burke, another player who's just been constantly injured. He came off during the game against Birmingham with an injury. Not what you want to see. Morris, unfortunately, a horrific challenge went in on him. It should have been a sending off. The referee didn't even give a red card. He gave it as a yellow. And because of the way Morris landed on his shoulder, he now has a shoulder injury. Whether or not he will play... Most likely he wouldn't. Yes, we've got replacements up top in Woodrow. Um, but, you know, I still have a concern. He's a top goal scorer. You want your top goal scorer on the pitch at all costs. And he won't be playing. We well, probably won't be playing against Millwall, which is not what you want to see. Hopefully the injury isn't too long. But my biggest concern is, is the defensive areas. I've already spoken about this before. Osho on the weekend, fair play to him. He actually did have a really good performance. But he's still a player who has an error in him. He's error prone. He always has an error. Um, you know, so he, he still needs to be, you know, defensively solid against Millwall. Hopefully he can still be, he can, you know, repeat that performance against Birmingham in this game. Um, Lockyer is back from his suspension against um, Burnley. So that's obviously good news. So we've at least got, you know... Uh, um, you got Gabriel Rocho and Tom Lockyer, probably the likes of Amari Bell may go as a centre half and we may play drama and Alfie Doggerty as the full backs. I can probably see that happening um, with the way we like to play our system at the back. You know, I'm, I'm I'm still a strong believer in if you don't have the players to do it, just just switch the system. But we just don't do it. It's, I don't know if it's just really stubborn by managers because obviously Nathan Jones also did the same thing. But I don't get it, you know. If, I guess it's maybe it gets results time to time, but players are not like 
Amari Bell, if you gave him the option, he wants to be a fullback, not a centre half. And yeah, he'll play regardless. But he still, you know, he wants, that's his position, that's what he's used to. Because if he makes a mistake, everyone blames him, including myself, I'll blame him. But it's not really his fault too much because he's playing in a position that he's not really, you know, meant to be in. So it's it's a strange one. I don't know if it's just managers being stubborn. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I, I feel like adaptability is something which we should try and do. Maybe throw me all you know completely and by playing an attacking system i'm not too sure but you know we need to do something differently uh, from time to time i feel like but you know that's the reason why i'm not a manager and rob edwards is and yeah we'll talk about other players nakamba luton since you know having nakamba within the side haven't conceded from open play which is great you know good record to have hopefully that can continue i know a lot of fans are giving um you know edwards a little bit of stick or not playing alan campbell but Nakamba is a lot different to Campbell. Um, he does things a little bit differently, and I feel like Campbell needs to contribute a lot more going forward. Attacking contributions, you know, chances creating, um, scoring opportunities. He needs to kind of do that, and I don't think he's the type of player for that. I do think he can get there and train better. I actually always thought, you know, Alan Campbell was a defensive midfielder when we first signed him, but he's been going, you know, attacking going a lot forward. I just don't think on current form you can drop Clark, Pelly, or Nakamba. I just don't think you can do that. And we're still getting results. So until the results not stop happening, I feel like you kind of have to keep that same midfield. The midfield's strong at the minute. We're doing really well at the minute. It's just, you know, defensively in the centre-backs and also the strikers are where the current problems are at this moment in time. But that's really it. So I can understand why Campbell isn't in the side. It's, it's. I know it's not. I know fans want to see him play. Cause he, you know, he is a good player. But what can you do? Pelly's performing week week in week out consistently, and he's been a completely new player under Edwards. Clark's, you know, pivotal on how we do well in attack. And Akamba, since he's been starting week in week out, we've not conceded from open play. So. So far, it's been so good, you know, with what we've been doing. So I can understand it all. But going into this game against Mill, it's going to be hard. It really is going to be hard. You're playing against a well-drilled Millwall side who can cause us plenty of problems, you know, especially from set pieces. I've always known Millwall to be a dominant side from set pieces. So I wouldn't want us to give away cheap, you know, fouls in, um, in certain areas. When they used to have Wallace in their side you know set pieces was a 100 percent a you know dangerous thing to do to give to Millwall. but i still think they've still got physical players that can cause us problems from those areas you've got fleming who's an attacking player for them who's doing having a really good season so you know it's going to be difficult it really is it's not going to be an easy it's not going to be a walkover but it is a tuesday night game you know at the lights at kenilworth road let's make it a fortress and let's try and get a win I would take a draw because of how good Millwall have been recently, especially in recent form. But, you know, hopefully we can do better than that and get the three points. But there, there you have it, guys. That is my overall thoughts heading into this game against Millwall. Let me know your thoughts down below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.